Welcome everyone. Today we'll be studying about the Second World War. We started in 1939 and uh, lasted in 1945. It was a war of rapid movements with uh, major campaigns taking place in the Pacific and Far East, in North Africa, deep in Russia, Central and Western Europe and the Atlantics. Now, there were certain conditions that uh, led to the Second World War the most catastrophic, catastrophic war fought in the human history till date. Chief amongst them was the rise of fascism in Italy. There were few conditions that favored the rise of Mussolini in Italy. He actually reshaped Italy. Mussolini, the Benito Mussolini was the dictator of Italy. And uh, fascism essentially relates to an ideology where uh, uh, the power is concentrated in one person. There is no opposition there is no press no judiciary everything is decided by one person so these are the characteristics of fascism and uh, the german version is known as nazism so we can use fascism and nazism as synonym however they differ uh, technically there is not too much you need to ponder about between the difference between the two we can treat them as synonym Fascism is the Italian version and its German version, which was brought by Hitler, is known as Nazism. So there were certain values and goals which the fascist ideology tried to realize. We shall see them. Now that's Mussolini on your screen. See what he says. The nation should fight every 25 years to stay healthy. So it's like an exercise for him. Okay, that is what Mussolini believed in, the fascist ruler of Italy. And what were the reasons that brought fascism? Disillusionment and frustration. Italians felt cheated in view of their valiant efforts in war and loss of civil like men. It refers to the First World War. Italy lost a lot, and they thought that they are not, uh, they have not been compensated enough after First World War. There were economic effects, effects of war on the economy and living standard was disastrous. Government borrowed heavily and had to repay. Now. This brought massive unemployment. Because of the war expense, government had to borrow a lot and that resulted in uh, un unemployment because there was no effective value creation from that borrowed money. Contempt for parliamentary system. See, after May 1921, there were nine parties in Italy. They fought elections and none of them got a majority. It was a split verdict. So coalition government was brought in Italy now coalition governments are uh, hardly effective they cannot take any uh, decisive decisions and uh, they cannot usher in any reforms so coalition government was not uh, uh, suited here to address the economic concern or the administrative concerns that italy was facing and mussolini attracted widespread support he and his party were attractive to many people he aimed to rescue Italy from feeble government. He he offered a hope actually. And he was a supporter of private property. So landlords favored him. Remember, Russian Revolution was very young at this time, 1917. And we're talking about uh, uh, mid 30s. So hardly 20 year old, 20, 25 year old. And communism and socialism were the flavor of Europe at that time. So landlords in Italy feared that something similar might happen here, something similar like Russian Revolution might happen here also. So they favored uh, Mussolini because he was against communist. Okay. And he also made conciliatory speech towards Roman Catholic Church. His opposition was divided. People, uh, the church opposed him or communist approached him. They did not offer a united front against Mussolini. Democracy is taking itself to talking itself to death. The people do not know what they want. They do not know what is the best for them. There is too much foolishness, too much lost motion. I have stopped the talk and the nonsense. I'm a man of action. Democracy is beautiful in theory. In practice, it's a fallacy. You in America will see that someday. This is what his advice for America is. So you can see the utter disdain for democratic values that Mussolini had. So it, it it offers a stable and authoritarian government for sure. It encashes upon the extreme nationalist part. There is just one party rule. Autarky, autarky again means 
there is hardly any trade with any other country propaganda propaganda means uh, that we all are being attacked and the enemy is here so we need to protect ourselves emphasis on military strength and everything is achieved through violence he won 35 seats in the 1921 elections so socialists and communists were 138 so see he was not an electoral victory okay fascism was not because of a popular victory you can see the number of difference between the seats and then he organized a march on rome and then the king of italy invited him to join the government now your question is must be that why did italy and italian king invited him to join the government because he won the 35 seats the answer is that italian king was having a lot of property so he was also scared of communists mussolini was targeting communists so he said okay please join the government now what followed was known as the reign of terror socialists and communists were either jailed or killed and just after 5 years all political parties except mussolini party was banned so this is what fascism is no opposition and there could be no harmony between the nations is what they believed in they glorified war advocated expansionist policy so there was as i told you earlier it was not a result of electoral victory nor there was a popular uprising some revolt kind of stuff government of italy was handed over to fascist on a platter means thal mein saja ke de diya tha unko sasan okay because the ruling class the king considered democracy and socialism as threats and these things were very uh, in things democracy and socialism at that time and we know why they were in things we have read the earlier chapters now see the rise of nazi germany these are the people the small small drops that you are seeing these are the number of people attending the rally of hitler they offered national unity prosperity and employment they promised to overthrow the versailles treaty the humiliating treaty of versailles remember the first world war treaty nazi army they were known as storm troopers was attractive to young germans bada acha tha logon ko dekh ke wow we have such a strong army uh, when the landlord again the same reason in italy as in italy when the landlord favored nazis and because they feared a communist revolution and uh, of course hitler had extraordinary political abilities no one can deny this he was an excellent orator he had organizational skills and then widespread economic crisis and hitler built upon this crisis that i'll offer a solution out of it it is not truth that matters but victory so the motive is very clear i want to win by hook or by crook aise waise ya fir jaise something opposite to what gandhi says means are more important than the ends in fact gandhi wrote a letter to hitler i don't know what hitler did after reading that letter but uh, see the difference in approaches towards these two men 1929 saw an economic crisis which affected entire europe 8 million workers lost their jobs in germany the nazi party started to spread its influence now the elections were held in germany and nazi won again not an electoral victory see see very similar to mussolini 196 out of 650 is hardly a victory but yet he was appointed as german chancellor by the president on 30 january and then he started assassinating killing the opposition and then 33 27 feb the parliament of germany that's known was known as reichstag was set on fire by nazis and the communist party was blamed for it Now, communists were unaware that something like this happened but they were blamed and uh, gradually they all were in prison or killed now the p- president of uh, germany dies and hitler becomes the president jews socialists and communists were the three people hitler hated most in that order so a violent uh, campaign was started amongst them massive militarization was started now italy germany required an ally in british regime of japan they got a uh, uh, a friend in the name of japan and together three of them were known as the axis powers now there were people in france and britain who worked to strengthen the axis powers because they thought that they are checking the communists 
of course whosoever had property was scared of communist was apprehensive of communist now japan invades china in 31 china appeased to league of nation but they did not do anything and in fact the western countries wanted japan to check china and ussr because ussr against again a communist state and china they did not want china to become a communist state but but it became so in 1949 So these were the two people, uh, the two gentlemen of his skin, Hitler and Mussolini. They were the one who brought the Second World War. So he enters Rhineland in thirty-six, and uh, he built an army of eight lakh men. You must remember, Treaty of Versailles said you cannot have more than one lakh people in your army. He he raises an army of eight lakh people. He invaded Ethiopia, annexed it. He marched into Austria, occupied it, and then there was something called Munich Pact. Hitler claimed a part of Czechoslovakia certain land because some Germans lived there so he said this is my area now prime ministers of britain and france instead of opposing this step by hitler they met hitler and mussolini at munich on 29th of september 1938 and agreed to german terms try to analyze this that instead of opposing them they agreed it means they have legitimized hitler and mussolini see this हिटलर सबसे पीच में है उसकी राइट हैंड साइड में आप देखेंगे अपोजिट द नाजी साइन राइट हैंड साइड प्राइम मिनिस्टर ऑफ ब्रिटेन एंड फ्रांस एंड जस्ट बिफोर नेक्स्ट टाइम द बॉल्ड मैन इज मुसोनी सो सी दे आर लेजिटिमाइजिंग दीज टू फेलोस दैट यस यू एक्सिस्ट एंड वी एक्सेप्ट यू नाउ व्हाट स्टार्टेड इज नोन एज द ओपनिंग मूव जर्मनी स्टार्टेड ब्रिज क्रीक ब्रिटिश का मतलब होता है बिजली कड़कना तो देयर देयर मिलिट्री कंडक्टेड वॉर एट लाइटनिंग स्पीड कंसिस्ट ऑफ रैपिड थर्स्ट बाय मोटराइज्ड डिविजन्स एंड टैंक सपोर्टेड बाय एयर पावर एंड पोलैंड को इन्होंने तुरंत इनवेट किया हरा दिया फर्स्ट सितंबर से थर्ड सितंबर के बीच में नाउ देन डेनमार्क एंड नॉर्वे वाज अटैक्ड बेल्जियम फ्रांस अटैक्ड डेनमार्क सेंडर इन 4 डेज बेल्जियम सेंडर इन लेस देन 1 डनक्रीक एक मूवी आई है डनक्रीक उसको देखना आप लोग अच्छी मूवी है इसी पर है डनक्रीक वाज रिमेंड वाज अ पार्ट ऑफ अलाइज एंड ब्रिटिश नेवी रेस्क्यूड थ्री लैक ट्रूप्स फ्रॉम डनक्रीक और वहां पे कीचड़ हो गया था और हिटलर के टैंक्स उसमें फंस गए थे देयर वाज मार्शी टेरेन दैट इज व्हाई हिटलर हैड टू रिसीड फ्रॉम देयर एक्चुअली एंड ब्रिटेन सक्सीडेड समवॉट इन डनक्रीक See, see, Germany infantry cautiously advancing on the outskirts of Warsaw, Poland. Okay, these are live war scenes. Student often asks me who clicked these pictures during the war. Of course, the photographer did. See how France was destroyed. German armored tank crosses the Aisne River in France on July 20, and one day before the Japan, uh, France surrender in one day. And see, you can see in the background the ruins. to which the city has been reduced and here is a nazi tank marching on top of it paris was captured france surrendered because there was a division between within france right wingers admired hitler because he was targeting communist and he wanted an agreement with them now germany had combat planes and france could not resist those planes and france should have helped poland when hitler attacked poland but they did not so germany became the supreme power in europe again blitzkrieg i have explained this the great speed jaise bijli kadakti hai waise hi germany ki army aati thi maar ke khatam karke chale jati thi ye question karun banega karodpati mein amitabh bachchan ne ek bar pucha tha ki blitzkrieg kya hota hai luftwaffe german air force they destroyed everything and now the only power that remained in europe was great britain so they invaded britain and here comes the royal air force of britain to rescue britain and royal air force inflicted heavy losses on luftwaffe the german air force and hitler called off the invasion now hitler hara nahi but ruk gaya draw hua match samjho ko is cheez ko hitler pure europe ko jeet gaya tha but royal british air force ne hitler ko england ko jeetne nahi diya so that was an event in itself that hitler is not invincible now why british succeeded their radar station gave plenty of warning german bombers were poorly armed and their mr schmidt's fighter planes they were hampered by limited range 
it, this is Winston Churchill, who was ruling Britain at that time. And uh, he said, this is what he said, never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. Now, this statement comes up, never in the field of human conflict. Ladai ke time mein kabhi bhi was so much owed by so many to so few. Itne kam logo ne itna zada ehsan, uh, itne kam logo ka itna zada ehsan, itne logo ne nahi marna hai. Itna zada ehsan, Britain ko bacha diya. Itne kam log, Royal uh, Air Force. इतने ज्यादा लोगों पर ब्रिटेन की पूरी पॉपुलेशन मतलब पूरी पॉपुलेशन को इतने कम लोगों ने बचा दिया तो इतना बड़ा एहसान कर दिया ये बात कह रहा है चर्चिल अपने एयरफोर्स के लिए बिकॉज इन्होंने नाजी को लुफ्टाफे को रोक दिया था आगे बढ़ते सी दी जर्मन टैंक यूनिट्स नाउ कैन सी द हाउ दे अटैक इन यूनिजन कैसे आ रहे थे पूरा मार के धुआं धुआं कर दिया है वो गम बम बारूद मार मार के मतलब सामने टारगेट को पूरा निश्तो नबूद वाज कंप्लीटली डिस्ट्रॉयड इट्स अ टैंक रेजिमेंट एक्चुअली नाउ नाजीज रीच देयर पीक सी दे हैव इनवेडेड इजिप्ट ग्रीस अल्बानिया एंड ग्रीक्स ने थोड़ा मुसोलिनी को हराने की कोशिश की तो हिटलर आया बचाने के लिए और हेल्प करता है और जीत जाते हैं ये लोग हिटलर विंस फासिस्ट विन अब बड़ा बड़ा भरोसा शुरू होगा जर्मनी इन्वेट करेगा रशिया को इसके पहले की थोड़ी कहानी जान लीजिए अभी तक क्यों फ्रांस ब्रिटेन या अमेरिका हिटलर को या मुसोलिनी को टारगेट से से अटैक नहीं कर रहे थे बिकॉज दे वे टारगेटिंग बिकॉज फास्टेस्ट वे टारगेटिंग कम्युनिस्ट एंड ब्रिटेन फ्रांस एंड अमेरिका वॉन्टेड डैम टू अटैक रशिया सो रशिया अंडरस्टूड दिस एंड रशिया साइंस अ नॉन अग्रेशन पैक्ट विथ हिटलर that i have not attack you should not attack me now britain and america felt like what has happened now we have to do something so that is why when hitler invades poland they had to raise their arms munich pact ko isliye kehte last act of appeasement tha but despite this non aggression pact germany invaded russia and he moved towards leningrad in the center towards moscow and this out towards ukraine See the Battle of Stalingrad. That's the Russians, and Russians were caught off their guard by Blitzkrieg on an awesome scale involving 5.5 million men, 3550 tanks, 5000 aircraft, and 47000 artillery. You can uh, imagine the uh, massive amount of uh, attack, uh, the weaponry involved, and Stalin apparently believed Hitler to honor that non-action pact, but Stalin was in for a big surprise. अब इसने रीगा स्मोसलाइ कीव सब कैप्चर कर लिया मॉस्को लेन ग्रैड नहीं कर पाया बिकॉज देर वर हैवी रेंस इन अक्टूबर एंड रशियन रोड्स टर्न इन टू मड फॉलोड बाई थ्री नवंबर एंड दिसंबर माइनस थर्टी एट डिग्री सेल्सियस रशियन यूज टू से इवन इफ यू डिफीट अस यू कैनॉट विन टू ऑफ आवर कमांडर्स दैट्स डिसंबर एंड जनवरी बिकॉज इट्स इट्स गोइंग टू बी यू नो माइनस फोर्टी डिग्री सेल्सियस सो जर्मन वे आर नॉट प्रिपेयर फॉर दीज थिंग्स now britain usa and usa join their hands and then comes the un declaration 42 to fight the fascists so stalingrad lasted for 5 months 90000 germans surrendered so this battle changed the course of second world war first time hitler was checked by royal air force britain he was not defeated but he was stopped here he will be defeated अब जापनीज उन्होंने देखिए पैसिफिक पे कंट्रोल कर रहे हैं मलाया मलाया सिंगापुर हांगकांग ये सब ले लिया नाउ हिटलर डिक्लेयर्ड वॉर ऑन यूएसए एज जर्मन हैड अश्योर्ड जापनीज दैट दे विल हेल्प ओके सो इन ऑर्डर टू हेल्प जापान दे अटैक यूएसए अब दे वर लेजिटिमाइजिंग ईच अदर इटली जर्मनी एंड जापान वेर अलाइज बिकॉज दे वर लेजिटिमाइजिंग ईच अदर एज इज एविडेंट फ्रॉम द थर्ड पॉइंट ऑन योर स्क्रीन नाउ ओके जापान ने कहा कि यू आर द लीडर ऑफ यूरोप यू टू जर्मनी एंड आई एम द लीडर इन एशिया एंड ऑल थ्री ऑफ देम एक्सेप्टेड इट पर्ल हार्बर मूवी प्लीज वॉच इट पर्ल हार्बर वॉज वॉज एन अमेरिकन नेवल बेस विच वॉज बॉम्ब टू रूंस बाय जापान ओके सी सी इफ यू वॉच द मूवी यू नो दिस बट हेज अ सीन फ्रॉम दैट एक्चुअल अटैक now usa comes into war 
it was there in Hawaiian Island. Look at this on your map, Hawaiian Island. Now, Americans helped Chinese who were at war with Japan. So, Americans insisted on Japanese withdrawal from Indochina. They put an embargo, they cut the oil supplies to Japan. So, Yamamoto Admiral, Yamamoto organized this attack, the Japanese Admiral, and uh, they destroyed the figures are there on your screen 350 aircraft five battleships and 3700 men were now franklin d roosevelt the president of usa calls it a date which will live in infamy now here comes general MacArthur, douglas MacArthur. see what he says whoever said the pen is mightier than the sword obviously never encountered automatic weapons he was an american so now comes douglas MacArthur, the general and uh, he will make sure that the fascists are defeated in battlefield. First, above Nazis are pitch at Midway Islands. Okay. So, here we say island hopping because one after the other, uh, the islands were taken over by America and Britain. They broke the Japanese radio code and knew exactly when and where they will attack. Japanese were overconfident. And MacArthur, of course, offered a exemplary military leadership on the battlefield, and he kept capturing islands. That is why it is called island hopping. El Alamein, Egypt. Now, here also, Suez Canal was an issue, and uh, the Allies controlled it. So there was no possibility of any uh, collaboration between Axis forces and Middle East. So Axis forces were completely expelled from North Africa after this uh, El Alamein battle, October 1942. So you see first in Midway Island, then in El Alamein. Now these are receding fast. No, Stalingrad, okay, the Russian city. They said that they destroyed the city, but they could not defeat the Russians. German retreat was cut off. Commander von Paulus surrendered with 94,000 men on 2nd Feb 43. And this war shattered the myth that Germans were invincible. Now look at this uh, woman, this uh, Russian sniper, Ludmila Pavelchenko. By the end of war, she had killed a confirmed 309 Germans. She was a sharp sharpshooter, Russian sharpshooter. And see the uh, victims she uh, uh, she killed, 309. Battle of Atlantic, German U-boats, they were the submarines. They, they used to destroy the enemy ship, but then by 43, allies could produce ships at a faster rate than U-boats could actually destroy them. Something like Indian population, more number of people being born than the one who are dying. Second stage of demographic dividend, this we will study in geography and economy. Now, British introduced the new centi center metric radar uh, which were small enough to be fitted into aircrafts and they enabled the submarine to be detected in poor visibility. So British could target the German submarines after this, after this new equipment, centrimetric radar sets. And uh, British American troops entered Italy, more than one lakh entered in June 44. Now, this is called uh, opening of second front. They all, they, very soon they uh, reached Normandy, France. And the number is two lakh. Now, German was surrounded. Now, the Soviet army enters. So, already there is Britain and America. Now, the Soviet army enters and Hitler commits suicide on 7th of May, 1943. See, see how Nazi soldiers were lying there and killed. Dresden bombing, 1945. Now, America drops the atom bomb. Little boy. Hiroshima, 6th of August. And Nagasaki, 9th of August. Two atom bombs were dropped. They killed a huge number of people. Nagasaki, see what happened. So I'll not talk much about the atomic bomb. You all know what it is and what it can do. War ends. Japan surrender. Second World War ends. So first, Italy gone. Then Germany gone. Japan bombed. See how the Japanese are surrendering. They were coming out of caves and they were surrendering. This is a Nazi soldier. He died there, sitting 
that's a, one of the last stand defenders of German held Cherbourg in France. He died there itself. The Japanese soldiers are surrendering their rifles to Soviet, and he's recording them. 1945. The damages: six million Jews were killed. Hitler made what is known as concentration camp. He used to kill people there. He never went actually to a concentration camp. He ordered all the executions on phone. Prisoners were made to dig grave, were shot and then buried. Inhuman medical experiments were conducted by Japanese and Germans on human beings. Over 50 million people died. Two atom bombs alone killed 320,000 people. And that's the amount of the war. 13849 into 10 to the power 8 pound sterlings. That's it enormous amount so this was the damage that the war caused now see this is what this is these are the dead bodies and on the left hand side is the other dead bodies right hand side are the stone uh, mountains made of human skulls something which Babar did it is mentioned in Babar Nama that Babar used to make mountains of human skulls of their enemies this is what Germans did and mainly the dead were Jews now, a young German soldier in pain being treated by American soldier. It was after the war. Okay. And uh, see uh, uh, the empathetic uh, scenes of the Second World War. Now, this is how the war was celebrated. People kissing each other. This is how they celebrated the end of war in New York, 1945. Now, meetings were organized. You can see Lenin, uh, Roosevelt, and uh, the British uh, uh, Churchill, Mr. Churchill, at Yalta. So, how to restructure Europe after the war? And that's the quote, famous quote by John Steinbeck. He's a Nobel laureate. That all war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. So, you have to talk. Okay, that is why we assured we, we are in favor of democracy. You have to talk either before war or after war. This is what Steinbeck says. Uh, this is how the Second World War entered. Whatever questions you have, please feel free to ask me.